Being a launch title, it, it, it sets a very definitive date that you have to be out and yeah, adapting to that was quite a struggle. Uh, we had to be at all the different events, showing demos, you know, being part of the whole you know, platform launch, etc. So normally what we do is we create a game. It's all grey box, it's, you know, it's prototypes, it's trying stuff out. But now, much sooner, in the, much earlier in the process, we had to kind of go uh, like all out on the graphics because we had to present it to, 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 to people outside of the office, which we've never done in that early stage before. So that was quite a challenge. But it really allowed us to push the boundaries really early on and change uh, how, we, how we developed the game and what the, what the game turned out to be. Uh, some of the key features that are in the game, uh, the owl, for example, the drone buddy that's on your back that you get to control, that got developed really quickly and really thoroughly because it was already like part of one of the few, one of one of the first demos we had to do back in E3. So it, it changed the process. It was quite a challenge, but it's I think in the end it really helped us develop a better game. Killzone has always been known for it's like it's gritty graphics, like really dark and, and gloomy. But with all the new processing power and memory, it also allowed us to, like on the technical side to do really interesting things with effects, with, with types of shaders that we used. And we figured, hey, you know, uh, let's use that to our advantage. Uh, let's, let's explore that and try and make it a more vibrant world. Because we really wanted to play with that contrast again. You've got the Helgas, which are like notoriously bad, uh, dark, gloomy, but we've also got this other side of the world, the, the Vectan part, the good guys, um, which is much more beautiful and, and nature and everything like that. And I think that contrast showing off like the different facets of the world through the graphics as well is, is, is a really interesting avenue to go through. We look at the competitors all the time. Um, I mean, that's our, that's our job in a sense. But what we really try, we, we don't try to copy things. We try to, uh, we really try to make Killzone uh, uh, a game on its own. Like if I look at the competitors, I think there's, there's, there's a type of game for everyone out there. And I think Killzone slots right like in between them as well. Because if you, if you like a more sci-fi type game uh, with very, uh, this time around, much more tactical, well, smart kind of combat with lots of options, I think uh, then Killzone is your game. And I think compared to our competitors, that's, that's a different experience that we offer. We've got a dedicated team uh, already working all the DLC and all the uh, expansion packs for the next 18 months at minimum. Uh, we're going to release new map packs for the multiplayer. They're going to be free of charge. So for the first time around, you don't have to pay for them. You can just download them whenever they come out. But we're also looking at other facets. We're, we're looking to add a co-op component because with being a launch title, again, we had to kind of um, uh, choose and pick our darlings and kind of uh, you know, kill off some of them. We couldn't ship with everything that we wanted. Co-op was one of the things we did want. So for the DLC, we're going to add a co-op experience as well. But also think of new features, new weapons, new classes, uh, things like clans, all kinds of new co cool features that are going to start appearing over the next month and going to continue appearing for at least a year. Uh, we're working on a new IP, we're working on a new game, but yeah, we're keeping all the details really secret for now and uh, hopefully soon uh, we'll be able to talk more about it. And finally, can you give us a rough estimate of how many Kit Kats did producer Seb Downey consume during the development? <laughs> <laughs> you follow us Twitter. Um, <laughs> I, if I have to give a rough estimate, I, I would say it's definitely going towards a thousand. It's, uh, he, wow. lo he loves his Kit Kats, <laughs> and he, he, he start, when he, especially when he gets stressed, he starts eating a lot of chocolate. So it's, it's his little issue he has, but it's a, a lot of Kit Kats with him. <laughs>